good morning good morning good morning or afternoon or i guess good evening by the time you're watching this here this is supposed to be the solar eclipse day that everybody's talking about i'm gonna try to get some video for you people but it's a cloudy freaking day so far so i don't know how this whole eclipse thing is gonna be happening but i'm on the road here it's about 7 a.m trailer rental does not open until 7 30 so i'm just leaving a little early i'm gonna go and pick up some def for this wonderful def consuming machine here and i'm gonna make sure my def is full my def fluid and then i'm already i've already got a full tank i already filled it up right before i went home the other day after the last video i filmed with you guys so um i don't need to fill up i got an extra five gallon can of diesel in the bed of the truck just in case for some reason i end up in traffic or somewhere where i can't get fuel easy at least i got five more gallons on hand of fresh diesel and um we are going to buy a truck is the goal that's the hope now if i get down there and it's not what i thought it was going to be we won't be buying anything what's going on guys welcome back to another video we're almost here we're going to fill up the def the def tank on this thing i i hate having to do it i really do but with the lifetime warranty on the truck that i got i'm like i'll deal with the nice quiet interior and the stupid diesel exhaust fluid crap um if it keeps that intact i know it doesn't sound cool i know i get it i get it it is what it is it's just this is the world we live in anymore so it's them, them good old days of driving around a loud truck and not getting bothered is kind of over for most of the country unfortunately but um, i'm gonna enjoy this every minute that i can because i still love driving the truck regardless we're gonna fill up the def tank get over to the rental place and hopefully we're buying a nice truck today that's the goal it's supposed to be a really nice truck but we'll find out i'm driving three hours to find out called the guy text the guy you know sent me tons of photos looked over everything everything he's done to the truck from everything I can tell, it's looking like a great truck for the money. Just a great truck overall. So, pretty excited about it, but we're gonna get this stuff topped off, grab that trailer, and we're gonna be heading south. Let's get to it. And also, I tried to plan out the day to where I could hopefully be home for the timing of the eclipse, because our house is like directly in line with the absolute like center of where it's supposed to happen um, in our region of Ohio so you know not like one of the outlying edge towns it's like you're gonna see it but it's not like gonna have the maximum effect of darkness apparently but our house is like right smack in line with the center of it so we'll see we'll see if uh I don't know see if, see if it's cool I don't know I've seen like a partial, I think I've seen like a partial eclipse at some point. I feel like it was back in, sometime back when I was still even in school or something. I don't remember. I remember all the teachers taking all the students out of the parking lot and putting on these funny little glasses and being like, look up at the sky, look at this thing. And it was like half the sun was covered up in broad daylight or something. And I don't know. It was weird, but apparently this one's a, a lot bigger deal so we're gonna go buy a truck on the eclipse because what else is there to do sit at home and be scared of what you know i got stuff to do so i'm gonna go buy a truck a trailer that sucker home on this day where everybody's like oh my gosh it's crazy don't be out on the road bad things are gonna happen it's like We'll see about that looks like a pretty freaking normal day to me and i'm about to i'm about to go buy me a second gen on an eclipse bro we've got the trailer it's actually a flat deck because this thing is a little bit wide so i could not have a trailer that's got fenders on it that are not pull over and they only had normal style fender trailers that it was either a flat deck like this which is a tag trailer where it had to be a normal style car hauler and well this thing's got a lot of width to it so this is the route we have to take pretty excited to show you this thing assuming i don't get there and i'm disappointed in which case i 
probably won't be showing you at all, but um, hopefully it's everything he described it as. Yeah, we're bringing home a sweet looking old truck from the 90s. Well, this uh, Eclipse thing is supposed to be starting in just uh, about 20 minutes and I should be home in about 10. So I'm hoping that I can see while I'm at home. I got a welding mask, I might use it, take a peek. Anyways, the truck did not work out, go figure. Story of the life of people looking for 25 year old trucks to 30 year old trucks. I mean, it, it happens, you know. I'm not mad at the guy in terms of it being like, he didn't lie about anything. Um, in terms of all the questions I asked, everything I asked about was exactly as it was described. But it was really unfortunate because I went there and looked at the truck and it was freaking just he did a really good job it was super clean super nice truck everything he had redone on it was beautiful and then he's like hey he's like hop in he's like let me take you for a drive around the block and so he's like i can show you how this built auto shifts he's like it's just really good he's like it's he's like it's the third or fourth transmission i put in the truck over the course of like 10 years and not all of them he took out because it broke but he's like either took it out to like upgrade even heavier parts once he put in more horsepower under the hood or whatever and so he takes it down the road drives great freaking running awesome i mean i'm just like dude this thing's a this thing's a freaking beast it was a 96 12 valve dually with big turbo on it big injectors lots of power he goes and he turns back around and he's like coming back down the road laying into it He's like almost back to the driveway. And then I was gonna swap and I was gonna drive. And something in the transmission breaks. I mean, it was just like full power, just wah, and then it's like whoosh. You know, just like so, something, something was not right. And he like couldn't get it to go into third gear. And he's like messing with the switch and he's like messing with some stuff. He's like, I don't know what happened. He's like, go figure. He's like, this is my luck, you know? I've had this truck for sale. I've messed with so many tire kickers trying to, you know, blow all the crap out of this thing and think that they can get it for nothing. And he's like, finally have somebody that shows up with money to buy the truck. And I'm just taking it down the road to show you how it runs and show you how much power it's got so you know what you're getting. And then go figure. It freaking breaks something like 20 feet before we pull back in the driveway and then I was gonna load it on the trailer. And so, did not end up buying the truck. Feel bad for the guy, you know, because I think the transmission works under warranty, but regardless, it's like, you know, now he's got to deal with all that crap, get it hauled out. So, that's a pain in the butt. Um, I do have a couple more prospect trucks. This is about 10 hours away, long haul, but it's, it's freaking sweet, and it is pretty much identical to one of the trucks that we did not too terribly long ago not quite a year but we're getting close on it um here we go almost about about eight, eight eight or nine months but anyways super nice truck um but he's really far away but it's a nice truck and so i'm thinking about calling a rental place to see if i can keep this trailer another day or two and potentially make a trip out that way to pick that thing up and i did talk to the guy back and forth quite a bit and he I mean he's like dude when I say this truck's nice I mean like it's probably the closest truck to flawless you're gonna find for what it is and I know that you know we've heard things like this before and you go to look at the thing and it's, it's an absolute pile of crap you know but this guy's like he seems like a straight shooter and like even the truck I went and looked at today the guy was honest about everything but the truck just unfortunately had some brake literally as we were almost done with the test runs and he was laying into it he wanted to prove to me like the transmission's freaking solid and the slip gear like, it's freaking legit like this thing is is built well and he's like i've had this thing for months done running it testing it racing my buddy is like you know just trying it out to see if it really holds the power when i first got it back he's like i've not had a single problem with it just you know totally unfortunate but you know at least he's got warranty on it for the work and if I would have bought it and got it down the road I wouldn't have had that warranty because most of the time those warranties on those older trucks like that it's just for the transmission work that was done but a lot of times it only applies to the person that owns the truck or the person that paid for the work um, 
to redeem the warranty work a lot a lot of times not always but for a lot of those mom and pop type shops that do those uh, transmission builds like that but we're gonna get back to the house maybe I can try to get a little bit of this eclipse on camera if my phone will pick it up at all we'll see and then uh, I might just kind of hang out with the fam this afternoon and make a bunch of phone calls try to lock in another truck and then maybe tomorrow we can get something nailed down I kind of see the reflection right, right there in the corner okay see the reflection that's what it actually looks like but through your phone looking at it it looks like it's not covered up at all but that little reflection you see bouncing around to the right side of the camera that's what it actually is looking like right now getting kind of dark out now. There's my Kila step, Dad. Kila step. Hear it. It's getting dark. <laughs> it's getting dark. It looks like, look through the phone. It doesn't look like it's there's anything going on at all. It looks totally just like the normal sunshine up there. <laughs> excited. I'm excited, Dad. You're excited? You seen the sun start and moon? Look how freaking dark it is. Lainey's going crazy. I'm trying to record and she's just going nuts. I don't know if this is doing justice for how dark this is out here. Look, you can see some stars now. That's crazy. There's a cool moon and stars. Oh, there it is. Holy smokes. It's okay to look when it's when it's covered. Look, it's covered. It's like look, baby, it's covered. Can you see any oh there you go? Here, let me see if I can. There we go. Looks it looks kinda green too, the welding mask, but there you go. The planets start talking about that. It's literally like totally dark Lights out. Okay. What's going on? I see, buddy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's a big shiny star. It's a big shiny star. Too bad you can't see it through the phone to make any sense of it. There. About as good as it's gonna get. Without the mask. With the mask. Except it makes it green color because of the film on this mask, but you get the idea. It's already starting to fade away. And just like that, it's just normal daylight all over again. Just about, it's pitch black over there. But. It's already coming back. Well, a couple days and a couple thousand miles later. But well, look what we got, boys. That's right. That's right. A big fat W350. Oh, yeah. And it's the perfect configuration. Why is that? Because it's the exact same configuration of our most popular giveaway truck of all time, which was our 1993 W350 with a five-speed four-wheel drive, really wide hips, six way outset fenders, and aggressive all-terrain slash mud train tires. It, it's the regular cab, the long bed, one ton. It, it's the truck. And if I look rough, that's because I've been awake for the last like 18 hours straight. Stay on the road. For like the last 18 hours straight and uh i've been on the road since like four this morning and it is now i don't know it's late it's almost almost dark um, and i have not stopped driving all day i just picked this thing up probably i want to say two hours ago now and i'm on my way back home and it was located out in missouri drove a long way for this truck Little, get that little peeky bit right there. Oh man, she's pretty. She's pretty. 
it's perfect. It's the perfect truck. I'm excited. And you should be too. Because this thing is... I haven't even seen another one of these for sale since I bought the last one last June. It's been almost one year since I've seen another one. And the last one was the only one-ton, five-speed, four-wheel drive, you know, W350 with a regular cab configuration that I'd seen ever in terms of like for sale and not rusted up condition. That, that was the only one I'd ever found in almost seven years of doing this. And this is only the second one I've ever found in almost seven years of doing this. So they are few and far between, but I'm telling you, well, we got one now and I'm freaking stoked. Well, it's the next day here. This is my little camping setup in the back of the truck. I got a towel. I uh, pinched it up in the window, rolled the window down just a touch so I could pinch it up in the corners. Got like a little blanket that the kids left in here. Tied it around either side of the headrest, and then I got from behind me here too. A towel pinched up in the window and around. That way nobody can spy on me if they walk around my truck if I'm asleep. But three and a half hours to go. I've only had to stop. So far, so good. There's the truck. Man, I'm tired. I stopped about three hours back. Well, no. When I actually stopped, it was more like six hours back. And I stopped and I took about a three hour break of sleeping. And I slept like a rock and I did not want to get up. And I got on the road for another three hours here. And I just can't. I can't keep my eyes open, so I got my little rig set up again, laying down in the back seat. Just gonna sleep for a little bit and get back on the road. We are back on the road. Got my quick couple more hours of sleep in. Now we've only got about two and a half hours left. Guys, I look rough. That's the longest I've driven for a truck. And man, am I hoping that uh, guys appreciate that because holy smokes I've been living in this truck now for I left my place yesterday at 4 30 in the morning or around 4 in the morning somewhere around there and it is currently 10 a.m. the following day and I'm not even going to get home until almost 1 p.m. basically 12 12 30 p.m. almost 1 that's a lot of driving. Um, it's a lot. And I've been going steady. Truck's been hanging in there, doing fine. I had about a three quarter tank of death fluid though when I left and now I'm down to about a quarter. But, you know, she just is hardly, just hardly hanging off the trailer there on either side. But we're almost there. We're getting it done. And I am ready to get out of this thing. I'm not gonna lie though, this Ram Air suspension sure is a sure is a life changer in the back though. It's like for the most part, this thing does not skip a beat. It's not rough, it's smooth. That back end doesn't sag down to the ground. I mean, it sits nice and level. I don't know if you can tell. Like in that smaller mirror there on the left. But that rear fender is not squatted down to the ground. I mean, this thing sits level, hauling all that weight like a champ. It runs like a champ. So, super pumped to get this thing back and get it unloaded because I got to drop this rental trailer back off. Well, 28 or 29 hours later in the truck, we're home. I gotta get this thing unloaded, get this trailer taken back, and we'll go over the details tomorrow. I got the old half ton out. I think I kind of mentioned this in my video at some point, but I finally got it out. It needs a wash, it hadn't been washed. So the, the rain's trying to help us out with this truck and then trying to hurt us with the other ones, and I'll tell you what I'm talking about here in a minute. I gotta turn the wife's truck around too. 
she's getting ready to take off. But I was gonna show you that first gen we picked up. Oh, and by the way, you can enter to win both these trucks at the same time right now. So you might wanna get on that. You only have from now until Sunday. And then that opportunity is gone. 30 times entries for both trucks. Five speed four wheel drive, five speed four wheel drive, comes with five grand, comes with five grand. You get the idea. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So you guys know about this truck. We've done videos about it and stuff like that. We've gone over the details, but here it is. 1993 W350 five speed four wheel drive, 12 out Cummins. And she's a freaking butte Clark. This thing is nice, like really nice. I'm glad I made the drive for it. The drive was horrible in terms of just, you know, how long sitting in a truck just kind of like gets really, really boring. The guy that just drove by probably says, ha, funny, I do that every day of the week. And I feel for those guys because I don't have that ability to just sit there in traffic, keeping your eyes open for like days straight. It's just, it's not fun. But it was worth it in this sense. Um, I mean, shoot, look at this thing, it's gorgeous. And it only needed two things fixed on it. And I already did them. It was this light right here. It was cracked. So I went and bought a new one. And then the same exact light on the other side was cracked. You can see little rock chips. That's about the worst of it too in terms of paint blemishes. It's got those little rock chips on either side. But it's just because of the big mud tires and sticks out. But check this thing out. Gorgeous. Came out of the state of Missouri. And uh, as you can tell by the rock chips... They do live on gravel roads out there. Uh, beautiful truck, zero rust on it, zero rust underneath of it. I'm not gonna roll around though because it's pouring rain and it's, everything's wet, but super clean truck. That's the only reason I brought it back after driving that far. Um, and that's also the only reason I drove that far to get it is it was very clean. I mean, just look how beautiful this thing is. Holy smokes. Oh my goodness, the view. The view, the view. If you guys have never looked at the rear end of a first gen dually with some fat MTs on it, you are missing out on life. I'm telling you, it does not get better. Holy smokes. Check this freaking thing out. This is one freaking bad rig right there. I mean, it's bad. And to the kid that sold it to me and took such good care of it for those years, thank you. Because now somebody else is going to win a gorgeous truck. Well, two things that needed fixed. Those two little lights were cracked from rocks chipping them. And parking brake cable. But that's pretty much normal on almost every old manual or non-manual pickup truck that I've ever purchased. Except for the fact that the ones that are non-manual, I guess people use them a lot less because they just put it in park more than they do use the brake, it seems like. But almost every manual truck I've ever bought, um, parking brakes don't work. And it's not because the cables are gone or anything, but it's like they come loose and they don't have tension anymore. So the pedals just kind of like fall to the floor, but minor, minor, minor thing. Other than that, um, Thing's freaking stout, runs good, drives good, sounds good. Oh. But you're gonna have to wait for the next video for more content on this because this video is probably already like long. I don't know, something crazy. Um, days of filming and putting pieces together, like four days straight actually, between trying to buy a truck that didn't work out, going to look at this one, living out of my truck for two days to go get this thing. I'm glad I have a nice truck that I can hop in and go that far to pick stuff up. But man, here it is. This is your reveal for now. Hit that link in the description, get entered. Both are up for grabs right now and it ends on Sunday for dual entry. Good luck.